you are given an unlimited amount of budget to create a movie slash TV series. What would it be about? A run-of-the-mill sitcom or drama that gets a season or two and then takes a sharp left turn and takes turns into an apocalyptic slash end-of-the-world type show. Drop breadcrumbs throughout the first few seasons then all of a sudden it completely shifts gears. Imagine instead of The Office or Modern Family, and instead of riding out the last few seasons on its reputation it turns into pandemic scenario. A HBO series that follows in depth the fall of the Incan Empire because of Pizarro. Show it from the Spanish angle, and also from the Incan. It would be fascinating. A gritty Scandinavian cop thing about a dinosaur, found dead on the moon. I'd love to do one of those detective shows, where the main character has a weird quirk like Monk or Psych or Castle or The Mentalist or Numbers, where the quirk is that the main character thinks he is in a cop show, but everyone thinks he's crazy. I know who did it. It's this guy. How do you know that? He's the only one with speaking lines. The other guys are clearly extras. Seriously, ask one a question. What is your name? Nothing. Silence. See. Besides, I'm pretty sure that's Michael Ironsides. Who? Big name actor. Plays a lot of bad guys. We can't arrest someone because they look like movie bad guys. Why not? Fine. We'll do the detective work, but I swear to you, the guy we are looking for is being played by Michael Ironsides. If you see him, heck, if you if you see anyone from Total Recall, bring them in. And so he, and a retired detective brought back to babysit him, and a female cop he always refers to as the love interest, have to take the whole episode to prove the real truth. And if he's ever wrong, he just shouts plot twist, and gets excited about how he didn't see it coming. The adventures of a dog who can travel through time to any point in the past or future, but it's just a regular golden retriever who has no idea what is going on, so every episode is just a standalone episode in that time period that just happens to have this dog in it doing the usual dog things, and nobody really pays attention to it, and at the end of the episode the dog has absolutely no bearing on what happened in the episode. And it just poofs out of existence to appear somewhere else in history for the next episode, and it's all narrated by Morgan Freeman. The adventures of the time-traveling dog who did nothing particularly noteworthy. Becoming a billionaire, the inspiring true story of how one man changed his life by abusing a mini-series budget. Close-up shots of animals with a wide-angle lens. A sitcom about the Julio-Claudian dynasty, with big budget sets, and historically accurate costuming slash props slash everything, but the whole thing is a comedy. Everyone still dies when they need to, but they stick around as ghosts, who run commentary on the plot and annoy the living. We'd also have Suetonius and Tacitus as narrators and they would routinely fight over how things actually happened. It would start with Augustus, roughly around the time I, Claudius did, and end with Vespasian ascending to the throne. He then grabs a broom and chases all the ghosts back to Hades. Full Ring World Disclaimer, not my original idea. I think it was from a Tumblr screenshot that made the internet rounds. Are the Price is Right spin-off with only filthy rich, totally out of touch rich people as contestants? Bill Gates seems pretty down to earth for a billionaire, and he did poorly when he played a version of it on Ellen. I want to see some Waltons or Rothschilds or the Koch brothers try to guess how much a bottle of Tide costs. Netflix anthology series, based on the SCP Foundation. Something with pirates. I have always been fascinated by pirates, and there isn't much good pirate film or TV. It's pretty damn expensive to make with the big ships and all. Nice try, studio guy with writer's block. Given the HBO treatment. Asterisk WWZ done right. Asterisk The Dark Tower done right. Asterisk The Silmarillion. Asterisk Brian Lumley's Necroscope Saga. 
it bring back better off Ted. Only if I could get the original writers and cast. If you enjoyed the stories, slap the like and subscribe button for more of them, and don't forget to support the original writers with an upvote, links are in the description. Peace out, and catch you tomorrow.